Hey guys. So I'm trying to finish up the gifts that I made. Or I've still got two that I'm making right now. Here's the base for them. It's um, one by six, cut 18 inches, and then it's two of them hooked together. And then a little two by four for us. This is what it will look like. There will be a little tree. It'll be fancy, but it's a little tree. I'll, be, I'll wrap the stem in rope. And I will glue this tree down. And then I will decorate the tree with just some small baby pine cones. Let me, I'm a, I've got stuff everywhere. Baby pine cones. Like I bought these. I think I got these at Walmart. Yeah, just these little baby pine cones. And then there is, um, where is it? I may have to, maybe it's over here. I made some bows, different, everybody has a different little bow on theirs. And I do not, what, here's, maybe that's all I have left of that. It's, um, like a mistletoe berries, like the little, like these. I've got, oh, this is it. <clears throat> I guess I shoved it up in there. So I bought this from the Quick Picks at Walmart. Those little picks. It's called a berry pick. Anyway, and so these little trees will have these little berries and little pine cones glued to them randomly. Then I spray it with snow. Real light little dusting of, you know, fake snow. And uh, I'll put a bow. I'm going to show you a little bit in, in a second but these are two if you if you ever decide this you think this is if you see it you think it's cute you want to make you one during the year for your uh decorate you know for your house next year it's very easy this is a one by six i had a piece of a one by six about six foot and then i bought an eight foot one at home depot and uh I cut, they're 18 inches. This is a two by four, cut at four inches. Painted this creamy white color. Um, I did lose, mm, I can open lose and show y'all, cause hers is different. Um, and Jill is, Jill's is different. Cause Jill doesn't do her, see it's, you have to remember that these are sort of country. They're, they're, Baby, you having a problem? Yeah. I'm going to get you a new doorknob. Let me get over here. And why are your pants in the middle of the floor? What have you done? There it is. Okay. He couldn't get in his room. I've got to fix that doorknob. So, like Jill's. Here's Jill's. Let me get this box down. So, Jill is not country. But I didn't want to make her something different. I couldn't even think what to make her. So I made her what I consider a fancy tree. So it's still, it's still on that 18 inch tube. Now it's smashed right now. It's a little smashed down because these are those little fake trees. But I put a glitter, I put glitter on her base, little red and gold bows, the top and the bottom. And then I put glitter balls, those little miniature for miniature trees, those little uh, balls, Christmas balls for miniature trees. I bought a bag of, a little box of them. Where's that little box? Right here. I bought this little box of them and I used the glittery ones, that these like this, but little, and red ones that were little. And it, uh... I think it turned out really cute for a, see how I, I do the rope around the bottom. I couldn't think of anything to put around her bottom. I thought about just putting snow, like getting some, um, the white, like felt or cottony stuff that you use in Christmas decorations and doing that, but I didn't. I just left it with the rope bottom. So it's like the tree trunk and then but now when she opens this and she takes it home, then she can open 
and pull all my fingernails in the way. Pull all these out and you know fix them the way they need to be fixed. So um, that's what I'm doing. But like I said, hers is a fancy version tree, not a country version tree. And I will show y'all. Give me one second, I'll show you Lou's. Hers is different than just paint. Hold on one second. So once again, it's sort of smashed right now, but I did the uh, Mod Podge and just some fabric on hers because she does her kitchen in the um, black and white. Almost her whole house is done in the black and white. Check the buffalo plaid. So I got this fabric at Walmart. Just a little, I asked them for a sample. And I wrapped the two by four in it and Mod Podged it. And then I did a bow. I found some ribbon with the same. And then you can see it's just those little pine cones and those little berries. And then a buffalo plaid ribbon at the top. And they're adorable. And then these are just little stickers. Like this one says Merry Christmas. Just little stickers that I found at Hobby Lobby. And I'll show y'all one as I get like going. Like right now. Right now, I'm fixing to get my glue gun. I push all this, these limbs to the side so I can see the stem because you're, this is the part you're going to glue down. You want to hit the glue on all these pieces like this as much as you can. And then you're going to put it to this board right in the center. And then you're going to hold that down. And basically, your tree is hiding this seam where the two boards are together. And I'll show y'all something else. I didn't even use any other big boards to bring it together. I used these big old popsicle sticks in the craft department and glued them. And then I glued two on each side to give it so it wouldn't wobble. Because once you put these in, it wanted to wobble from side to side. And it actually stands up because that is, I put that even with the bottom. So it sort of stands, but uh, the one I made my, well, I didn't make it for myself, but the first one I made, I had leaned up. It just sort of leaned against, oh my gosh, my fingernails, I'm so sorry. It sort of leaned against the wall. Um, but it was mom's. Mom's is the first one I did, and hers is a little taller because I hadn't decided on a perfect height yet. So hers is about 20 inches tall, where these are all 18 inches. And it just, it just, they're just adorable and they're cute little gifts. They're not extremely, they're not extremely expensive either. I mean, you just, these little picks were 99 cents. Um, the board was the most expensive. And then you have to stain. And I use this older, I use a walnut stain. And, uh, it makes the wood look older. And, uh, you just hot glue all that on. You just do it you know, was it sparsely? You just put a few here and there just to dress it up. The pine cones and the berries. And it'll be adorable. So I'll show y'all halfway through when I get this. When I get the stem glued on, then I'll come back and, and uh, show you the, not the stem, the tree on. And uh, I'll have to wrap it in, in a rope first. And this I got at... This, this this rope, I got it. At, you can't see it. It's just jute um, rope that I got at Dollar Tree, and I wrap the stem in it. I wrap it around and around. I start it on the back side so you don't see the seam. I put some glue there and hold it down, and I just wrap it real tight and then glue it all around the bottom so you can't see the glue, and then I glue it to these boards. So I'll show y'all that in just a second. So here I've got my tree and I've wrapped it. And if I had a kickstand, then I have that. Let's see if I can stand this right here. Put something here. Hold it up. Okay. If you wanted, I'm going to show you something. If you wanted to make it more substantial, like fatter at the bottom, at the base, you just put another, and you just wrap 
another layer of this rope on here and the trunk starts becoming really, really, it's not, now I can't see this very well. Let me, let me, let me start this glue up and do it real quick. It's not that complicated and I'm making it harder than it's gotta be. So I'm gonna start the, the glue right here. So I've started it right back at the base again. It's right here where I glued it, right under my thumb, but I can't move it. And then I'm gonna wrap. And you can wrap a couple of times and then do some more glue and then wrap. I'm gonna get me a battery glue gun as soon as I can. So I have to keep going over. I just put a dollop of glue and then I'm gonna wrap again. I'm gonna wrap. I'm going to do two wraps and then glue. Then two wraps and glue till I get to the end. And this is going to make the trunk look fatter. Yeah, that looks good. Right, let me show you all this finished. Bring it around. Yes, that looks good. I'm going to cut it right here at the back so you can't see ravelly stuff. All right, now see, now the trunk is really fat and substantial. Doesn't that look, that looks, that looks better than the thin. And I've done some of my trunks thin and some of them thicker. In fact, I started with a thinner rope, the first couple of them that I did, and, and I had to make them thick to make them look good. But, um, so I'll take this one now and I will glue it to the board and um, lay it down and glue it on and then I'll show you that process. Okay, so I've uh, got the tripod out. So y'all can see, so I'm opening these pine cones and when you get them, they've got these little they're really clear, like little fishing line hooks for, to, you know, to hang. I just cut them off. And I do an odd numbers. I don't know. I think I heard that one time. That was a decorating trick. Everything is like in threes and fives. You know, you never do all, even numbered things on the walls or whatever. I don't know. I heard that somewhere. And it tends to look good that way. So I do it that way. That, that one's not a pretty one. So I pick out some nice ones and I pick out five pine cones. And then I've got a couple. I picked out five pine cones, cut them out. And then I've already got a couple of little berries cut off that branch, but I'm going to do that too. Sticking to my static electricity. So I'm going to finish this one in front of the camera, but then I've got one more to do and then I will be done with these. And they're fun to do, but they are a little time consuming, but they're not that expensive. I don't think um, they were too expensive. Like I said, the wood, I like to get these doubles and then sometimes I uh, glue a third one on. Where is that one? That. Oh, that's a whole branch. Right, there's that. So yeah, I'll just cut some of these off. Some of them I'll glue on as doubles. Some I'll do, uh, I may even glue a single one on in the spot. They're just to brighten it up. And these little berries do think, make them look even more country than they are. <laughs> what you up to? Levi, what you doing? So, so here, I think you can see it. I am going to run glue down the back of this tree really heavy. Get a glue stick ready. I'll put it on the, the trunk. Can y'all see that? I'm gonna put it on the trunk really heavy. 
and then I'm going to grow go up the tree up the tree just as good as I can up the tree and then I am going to press it down right on that line where the two boards come together and then I am to hold it here for a few minutes this is a little time consuming because this plastic stuff that the tree is made out of it wants to melt with the hot glue so I try to put most of the glue on the wire that makes up that tree trunk or whatever I don't know if that's a thread or a wire but that's where I try to put the glue at and I just hold it here for a few minutes pushing down see something what are you giggling so much about you're making a lot of racket do you hear me leave our wells Well, that sounded like you were speaking Chinese. Oh okay. So there it is. With the tree glued to the side. My camera's lopsided. But that's it. With the put together so far that like that. And now I will just some random. Oh my gosh, this is doesn't want to stay up so I will take some you take these and you bring them out sort of make it that needed to be I'm gonna put some glue right there and bring that back to the center there's my glue the top of the tree needs to go to the middle and I'm gonna put the glue on the board and then hold that in for a few minutes. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I glued a dollop of glue right. You can't see, it's too low. Oh my gosh. I put a dollop of glue right in the center of these two boards right here, underneath the tree. And then I'm pushing that, that limb down on it to get it to secure good. The base is secured really good, it's good and tight. And I may, some of these branches that will be back against the board, I may put a dollop of glue on them and hold them down too. But you just have to start pulling them out and making it look good so you can figure out how you're going to, where you're going to put your berries and your pine cones. <laughs> See, that looks... That looks pretty daggum good to me right there. Yeah, that looks like it, that's good. So now that's held down good. Can you see it? Oh yeah, you can see it. So I will just start putting some pine cones and it will get hot. I have to be careful. And I'll put one right here and try really hard not to touch my finger and I can feel it touching but it's not too bad and I will hold it until it's secure that's adorable my glue gun is about to have it I gotta keep pulling my glue sticks out and then putting them back in again all right so then I'll do another one I'm gonna do one right at the top right up here It'll be uh, down a little bit, just underneath where the, there will be a bow at the top of this tree. So I'll put that pine cone just right underneath where that bow will be. I will put one down here, the bottom, this side. You can even put two together. I wonder if I need to move this over some. So y'all can see it. Once you know it's held good, you can let it go. So now I've got one. I did it like in a triangle, and then I'll go back up the tree. 
in a triangle like right here. That's four and I'll put number five over here. Hold that on. So I have two to do, two more to do. This one and the one down here in front. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. And the two that I have left to do is my daughter-in-law, Steph, and um, Jamie. So that's glued, stuck. I always, I usually always try to do some type of a craft for the girls. I build them something is what I usually do. A couple of years ago, I built everybody um, these plant stands for their front porch. And it was like two legs. And then it came up like in a rectangle, just out of two by fours, a rectangle with the two legs at the bottom to give it stability so it didn't move. And then at the top, right in this, I, it's hard to describe, but right in the center at the top, I, uh, color it was i think it was a one by six also i painted it black and all of the frames were painted white lou still has her on her porch mom and dad had one too theirs uh floated away in the flood lou still has hers tina i think still has hers on her front porch oh these were two or three years ago anyway um in fact the one that lou has on her porch i no, I can't remember if that's when I did it. No, I think Lou's was... And I think I made Bree one, but Bree's was for her wedding. And it said, welcome in the center. It's hard to describe because you'd have to see it. But it said, welcome in the center on that black where I painted that board black. And then right underneath that sign where the two by four held the sign in place, I put a cup hook a big cup hook and it was right outside the doors you went into her into the auto the the uh, church and um a fern hung i had my big ferns was hanging in the center of it, it was really really pretty and then i just randomly stick these little berries if you can see this, just randomly stick these in here. And that is hot. Ooh. I need to get me some of those little guards, those little hot glue finger guards. Maybe my glue gun, when I finally get a glue gun, it'll have one in it. Some in it. I've seen them. In fact, that's what my white elephant gift is. Which, this video, nobody will know that because this video won't come out until after Christmas. But my white elephant is a chargeable glue gun we all i think we all do that we don't do silly white elephant gifts we buy legit gifts um we always try to stay under 20 bucks but usually if it's just something we like it doesn't matter if it's a little bit more or not we're not real expensive but 20 bucks is where we try to stay at and uh it's always something that we like i think we all i think all of us do the same thing we say that we buy things that we would want so if, if everything on the table is not something and it's your turn and you know you get to steal you might steal the gift you came with because it might be better than to you all the gifts are good but to you that might be the best gift for you I'm going to put one. See how that one's up here? And it's wanting to fall forward. It's not glued dry yet. Maybe I can stick that in there now. So I'm going to put three. Yeah, that glue's hot. I'm going to put three right there. And I'm going to put one more berry. I think over here on this far side. Roll down. And um, here is a three together because I, right now i've got four clusters and like i said i like to do uh odd numbers i don't know why but i'll stick that in there and that's five so i did five berries and five pine cones 
and it already looks adorable. It looks adorable just like that. I mean, you don't, look at this. You don't have to have anything else. That is just adorable in itself. I can't get that to stand back up. Oh my gosh. Little, wonk. Little wonky, but it's up. Nope, it's not up. There it is. All right, so I've got ribbon. I made these little bows. I made a bunch of bows. Well, I think I made six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven of these. I hope I wasn't in that because I ain't dressed in pajama bottoms. <laughs> you probably seen me go around that tree. Oh my gosh, you're probably thinking, what is she wearing? I'm wearing a gray shirt and pajama bottoms and I don't match at all. But I made a bunch of bows before I ever got started. And so like these are just this little, they're little trucks with Christmas trees in them. And then just a little red one on top and I'll do, and I guess I have an extra, I made an extra. This would have been just red and this was black and red. The, the buffalo, there it is, the buffalo plaid and that same little truck. Um, I think, hmm, I think Lou would love it if I gave, if she was the only one with buffalo plaid. <laughs> Because that's what she decorates in. So I will use this big one up here. And I will use this one down here. Can you see that? Yeah. And this one here. Anyway, let me gl glue those on real quick. I'm going to lay it down while those glue. While the, the glue sets up. So I'm going to put this little dollop of hot glue right on the corner, top corner, Katie Wampus, Katie cornered on the two by four. You'll see. Mm -hmm. I you still can't see. I have to go out of the picture. I'll show you that in a second. Let me get the top one on. Put some glue all over the back of this bow. And then down onto the tree. Hold it on. And I have some real cute little stickers. Levi! Levi! Baby, come here. You're not tired. Come here. You're lazy. Yeah, I know. Would you look in this gray tote and see if you see those little stickers I got at Hobby Lobby? It's a bunch of little stickers. Little Christmas stickers. I got them. Thank you. And then I'll just pick out a sticker. But I like the ones that say Merry Christmas. So um, I like the old Christmas tree one also. And there's a really cute one that says Holly Jolly. Well, you can see them right here. I love this one. This is why I bought them, but I, there wasn't enough to get this whole package. There wasn't seven of these pack. Of, these packages so I got five I guess so this one I think the old Christmas tree one since it was in the had the gold in it is the one I put on Jill's um Reezy's I think says oh, I'm not even in the picture Holly Jolly and then I put a little this little snowflake on hers too Anyway, these last two will be able to get the Merry Christmas right in the middle. And I put this Merry Christmas right in the middle of that two by four. Let me... What, babe? Okay. Can't get this out. And they're not... Um, I thought they would... Oh, well, that one peeled off easy, but... I don't think the stick is good enough. I'm afraid they'll come off, so I always throw some hot glue on it. And then I push it right down. 
here. Now, I'm going to set this up like this. I think you can see it good. Let me back up the camera. So, that's it. I think they're just adorable. They're so adorable. And then I'll take it out on the front porch and spray it with just real light mist of that, you know, that canned snow in a can. And then I'll sit it for about 30 minutes before I box it up and let that snow dry. Oh, let that snow dry. So, um, let me pause you for a second. I'll run out, snow it, bring it back in so you can see it. Because I don't have nowhere to sit this camera outside. And I wish I could make this stop falling over there. It's not falling now. All right, so give me one second. And I feel like, looking at it in the picture, I feel like even though it would be more than I'd like to do, I'm either going to put a pine cone here. I think I am. What if I did a pine cone with a berry? Wouldn't that be dumb? Let's see if that would be dumb. Maybe right here. Not so close to that one. Over some. Or should I just do a couple? Of, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it. I just feel like it's missing something. Like there's a dead zone here. But the berries are what makes it so bright. I'm going to hook these two berries onto this slim. This lovely one. Maybe that'll brighten it up a little bit. But I may have to put another pine cone anyway. Let me step back. Oh, yeah. I think that looks better. Yeah, that took away that blob in the middle. All right, so I'm going to go out and spray this and come back in and show you. I mean, I'm going to lightly, you're going to see it's barely sprayed, but I'll be right back. So I sprayed it. And I don't know if you can see that spray. You can see it's just a little, I mean, it's so lightly sprayed. You can just sort of barely see it on the berries and you can see it on the board in the back, but it dries hard. So um, I think it'll dry good. Well, they've all dried good and they didn't come off. Now I could and I didn't. And now I'm thinking maybe I should have. That means I have to take them all out of the boxes and do it. But after that snow dries, you could... Uh, always spray it with a clear acrylic. The whole thing, real light mist of clear acrylic, like a polyurethane in a can or acrylic in the can. And then that would set everything even a little bit better. But I think I'm going to be good for, for, for what it is right now. I think it's cute. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's adorable. They're just adorable little crafty gifts and i think everybody is going to love them i think jill <laughs> will not know exactly what it is i don't think she does crafts not like in her home or crafty things i know her tree is more golds and silvers and I even called my sister and I said, Jill's house, I've only been there once. I haven't seen it decorated. Does she decorate country or fancy? And she said fancy. And then I seen some pictures on Facebook that Jill had put of the baby um, of her two girls. And they were decorating cookies at the table. But in the background was the tree. And I'm thinking, yep, it's a fancy tree. I don't know how this craft project is going to come out. Being So I did it. Like I said, I showed y'all a while ago. It's... The base is gold. The ribbons are golden red. And I put Christmas balls. Oop! Decorations, the little ornaments. Gold and red on it. Um, I hope she likes it. She's the only one that I've, I'm leery about. Like, it's just like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Smile and say thank you. And then hide it in a closet when she gets home. But I think they're adorable if you're into the country thing. And simple. They're very simplistic, and they're so easy to make. 
And these two by sixes, you can have, I don't know if I've already said this in the video, but you can have Home Depot cut these. Home Depot, I don't know about other lumber yards, but I know that Home Depot, Lowe's may do it too. They will cut boards for you. So, you know, you could go in early in the morning before the day gets going good and you just get one of those guys and they come back and you tell them, you know, this to me was the perfect size. You, I did it, at, like I said, 18. The first one I did was 20 inches and I had some space up here at the top and even at the bottom, the trunk at the bottom, the little uh, tree holder, you could call it a holder. Um, it had space at the bottom too. With these like this, with them being just 18, they just hold the tree and this is right at the bottom. So it, they actually stand up just because this right here, but they lean forward a little bit. But I choose to think you should just lean them back, stand them on something and lean them back. You could even get those uh, stands. I have a stand. Let me put one in the stand and see how that would look. I don't know if it would look good or not, but let's see. Don't judge this stand. because I cut it off because it was very tall for the picture that I had in it. So I cut it off. But you might... Might be too heavy. Oh, see, you could do it in a stand. Let me back up. See, that's in a stand, and that doesn't look too bad. That's actually sort of cute. So you could do it anyway. Or if you wanted to hang it, you just drill two holes up in this corner here and here, and you use some of that same rope, and you just make a loop de loop. Tie little knots right here in the front on each one. Tie the knot here in the front so it hangs and sort of break the rope up so it's a little bit of raggedy. That'd be adorable. You just hang it somewhere. Anyway, I hope y'all like this video. I hope that even though I didn't cut the boards in front of y'all, you, you get the gist of it. You know, it's, it's a one by six. You need two of them, 18 inches. You flip, you uh, stain them. When the stain dries, you flip them over. You glue them together with just popsicle sticks. It's so simple. But just remember that when you glue them together down the center, you have to put some out here on the sides because it won't sit flat while you're working on it. And then... The two by four at the bottom is just a four inch two by four painted or like I showed y'all with Lou's, it's Mod Podge with fabric. Um, Jill's was glitter paint. Uh, Jill's was actually this right here in gold. So it's a paint, the paint from Walmart in gold. But then I actually sprinkled glow, uh, gold glitter on it before it dried. And um, put it together, real simple, real cute, real sparse. You know, it's country, so it's not supposed to be, you know, a lot of stuff on it. Spray it with a little snow, put a couple of ribbons. It's adorable. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it was long, but I hope you um, were able to stick with it and, and you like it. And I hope you try it one day because I seen it on a video and I'm hoping that y'all Maybe you've seen that video too, but I, if you haven't, I hope y'all, this gives you an idea, a little something you could make for yourself. Probably could even make these like little, I wonder if you could, well, you'd have to buy the trees early because you can only get, or well, you might can get, buy these trees online, but you can only get them usually at Christmas time at, um, at the, that little uh, Dollar Tree is where I got them. But um, I started to say you might could decorate them like little Easter trees too. That one might cute be cute. I don't I don't know. Anyway, you try it. I think it's adorable and I hope y'all like it. Uh right, see y'all later. Alright, I just got the last one finished. So I'm done. I'm fixing to 
let this dry for about 30 minutes and I will box it up. But I thought I'd go over one more time in case you want to do it yourself. So I cut these boards, they're one by sixes, and I cut them at 18 inches. Then I hooked them together with popsicle sticks. And you can, well, I can't even see it there, right there. All hooked together with popsicle sticks. And it's got a few berries on it. It's got a few pine cones. All of those came from Walmart. These little picks from Walmart and the little tiny box of miniature pine cones. Mm -hmm. You just sort of stagger them around on the tree. There is a four by four at the, uh, four by four. It's a two by four at the bottom, cut four inches. Mm -hmm. And it's painted um, a creamy white color. And then it's hot glued at the bottom of the the boards and it becomes the base of the tree and then the trunk is just rope that i got from dollar tree wrapped around the tree to make it look thicker and bigger then there's some ribbon at the top and some little and a ribbon at the bottom and some little stickers that i got at hobby lobby in the um i think it was back with the craft book stuff and after it was all put together, I put a real light spray of snow on it. And when that dries, I will put it in a box and get it ready for... I think this is the one that I will give to Jamie. And the one I did for the video earlier that y'all seen, that one will go to Steph. So this is it. And I hope y'all give it a try. And thanks for watching the video. Levi, you want to say something? You tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.